Hey, what's up everybody? This is John from DroidDog.com and today we'll be taking a look at the browser on Sprint's HTC Hero. Some of you may know that uh, the browser is my least favorite part of the Hero and I did have some uh, pretty major complaints about it. However, my biggest complaints have been addressed. In one of the videos I did on Hero, I mentioned that I was unable to save an image in the browser by long pressing it. I was not getting any pop-up menus. No matter how long I held it and then let go, nothing would happen. The browser was bogged down. It was having serious trouble doing the most simple tasks. I, was, I couldn't scroll up and down half the time. Zooming in and out was um, extremely choppy. I was reading other reviews that said it was jerky. I, I just didn't think that covered what I was experiencing. Alright, got a message there. I'm trying to cover up messages. So I did a hard reset and uh, it turns out that the browser functions much better than the way I was experiencing it before. It's not perfect, but it is a heck of a lot faster than I thought it was. So today I'm going to do some experiments here and uh, start with the absolute ideal conditions for browsing and go on to the worst case scenario. I had um, quite a few people contacting me asking me specifically to bog the system down. They wanted to see the hero get so overwhelmed that it just couldn't work at all. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, admittedly, the way I'm starting this is, is unrealistic. I have no widgets on the home screen. And uh, before I launch the browser, let me tell you that I've cleared the history. There are no pages, no cache loaded in the, in the browser. But probably one of the most important things I did was change the home page because Sprint's Power Deck wants your location and it checks login information. So when you first launch the browser, especially if you already have a lot of other things running in the background, that makes it seem particularly slow. I've also disabled JavaScript and plugins on the browser. Somebody asked if that was possible, so I'll show you where to do that. Again, don't worry, I'm not using this as a benchmark of, of how the browser performs. We're going to go from best to worst here, and I will turn off Wi-Fi um, so we can experience it just over Evdu. Reve, it is Reve that we're all connecting through here, despite the rumors. So here goes the browser, no cache, and I'll show you that there's no history. It's loading Droid Dog. So you can already see that is much quicker than if you're going to Sprint's Power Deck. And I don't know how important that is. I bookmarked it before I, I changed the home page. So I always have a bookmark of Power Deck uh, if I want to check things there. There are other ways to upgrade the phone. When I first got the Hero, the Power Deck page was different than it is now. They've changed it. It was a um, pretty bare bones mobile site where you check for upgrades and things like that. Now they've got news on there and such. So, all right, let's take a look at the settings here. Now you can uh, turn off images, which I don't really like to do. You can block pop-ups, um, disable mobile view, so you can always see the full version of the site. But here are the, the big uh, performance enhancing options is uh, to disable JavaScript, which I've done. And uh, disable plugins because without flash I think the browser is quicker. Go back to the home page now loading it with no cache and it's complete. So you know what that's pretty good and I'm flicking around and it's actually incredibly smooth right? So when you're comparing this to you know for example the iPhone browser you pretty much gotta turn off all your widgets and background applications if you want it to be a realistic comparison. Is that zooming as good as the iPhone? It's very close. But as I mentioned, this is these are not real world circumstances, so it's time to start making some changes. I'll go back to the home screen here and let's throw in some widgets. Sense widgets too. So first let's put that big beautiful clock on there. And I should uh, mention that they optimize these widgets by removing some of the bling. The Brion from Twitter um, pointed this out. You also see him commenting at the site sometimes. The flip clock doesn't actually have a flip animation anymore. And the weather when it pops up here, um, I don't know if it has no animation or less animations, but there's just not as much uh, going on with these what could be resource hungry widgets anymore. So let's get a realistic widget set up here. What do you think? Like three or four is what most people would probably want. 
Twitter, clock, calendar, and then let's just do uh, an Android widget. Put Droid Dog on there with the feeder widget. So that's reasonable, right? You can see I'm not really seeing any slowdown at all in terms of just uh, swiping between home screen panels. So let's go back to the browser and uh, just go to a. I already had that loaded. Let's do um, see what happens when we go to the forums. So, to me, that looks like pretty decent performance. I'm really not seeing any lag. Maybe just a little bit, um, a little jumpy behavior when it when it has to resize when you do the pinch zooming. It recenters itself, but I'm really bouncing all over the place there. So. That still looks pretty good to me. Alright, so we'll go back to the home page. Now I'm going to enable JavaScript and plugins. Alright, go back to the home page. Still on Wi Fi. So it's slower, that's for sure. Still waiting for it to finish loading. Still waiting. And I don't actually take care of IT on Droid Dog, so I don't know, you know, really what is loading on here. There are flash advertising banners. I'm not sure uh, what kind of JavaScript might be used. So we've got a lot of embedded, now it's finished loading, but there's a lot of embedded um, YouTube videos on the home page. And that looks like, that's still pretty decent performance, wouldn't you say? Considering what this browser is capable of. And just to, just to make a point here, I want to show you. If you hold down for a couple of seconds on an image, you can save it, send it via MMS or send it via email. I was not getting that the other day, but then again, it would, would never stop loading a page and uh, trying to flick like this. Let's see, we are getting a little bit of weird stuff. Maybe I hit the search button there. I think that's what happened. Yeah. So when I would try to flick it, it would just jitter and then stay frozen. And then things that I had tried to do 60 seconds earlier all of a sudden would start taking place, you know, if I was trying to click a link but it didn't work and I moved away then much later it would go to the link so after hard reset a factory reset I'm getting much better performance you can see that there's a did I just zoom way way in yeah oh it changed the word wrap so you know browsers got to deal with that resizing somehow so I'd say this is pretty good performance actually um, somebody wanted me to try it with a mu music player running so why don't we go ahead and add another widget. Uh, what's good? Theme music. It has a hard time if you try to skip a bunch of tracks at once while you have other things running. Um, one thing I want to point out real quick is if you put the phone to sleep, hit menu, you got music control right here, which is really nice. Alright, 